So hey guys, this is Team Overclocked bringing you guys everything we know about the GTX 1050. There is a rumor going around that there's going to be a 1060 3GB. But this does not make sense because this rumor states that it's going to be featuring a different GPU. And other rumors also suggest this is going to have less CUDA cores, making it really a different GPU. This could possibly be the GTX 1050 Ti or GTX 1050, but I doubt it's going to be a 1060. Personally, I think it's going to be a 1050, so that's what I'm going to call it. Now in terms of CUDA cores, leaked benchmarks say it has 1,152 cores. This will make it a cut down GTX 1060, which does make sense based on the other rumors. It's gonna have 3 gigabytes of VRAM, which is pretty known, and that is really the basis of basically all the rumors on this GPU. Now, 3 gigabytes is not ideal for 1080p gaming, since a lot of games really need more than that. I think 4 gigabytes would have been the perfect amount for 1080p gaming, especially at this price point. In terms of clock speed, most websites are just guessing, since there aren't any real leaks about this. Personally, I think it's going to be a 1.5 GHz core clock with a boost to 1.6 GHz, which is similar to what happened with the 1070 and 1080, which also feature the same GPU, but the 1070 has a slightly more cut down version as well. But this could be anything, it might be much lower or much higher, I think 1.5 GHz is a pretty safe bet though. In terms of overall performance, based on my calculations, it's going to be about 15% lower than the 1060. Again, another reason this is going to be a different GPU. Now in terms of the benchmarks you're going to see now, these are based around the i7-6700K clocked at 4.6 GHz which I got from Science Studio because I don't have enough money or time to buy all three of these graphics cards and benchmark them with an i7. And the link to Science Studio's channel will be in the description for you to check out. Now if you've noticed, in between the 1070 and the 1080, there's a 3400 point decrease. And in between the 1060 and the 1070, there's a 4400 point decrease. This does make sense because every time there's 640 CUDA cores deducted. And so there's going to be more performance lost at every tier because you're losing a higher percentage of CUDA cores, therefore making you lose a higher percentage of the score. But the gap between the GTX 1050 and 1060 is much smaller because there's only a 128 CUDA core difference between them. If this followed the pattern of the previous GPUs, it should have lost 5400 points, which does make sense because you're basically cutting GTX 1060 in half. But it only lost 128 CUDA cores. So the way I did this is I figured out how much points are lost on average between each CUDA core. And it came out to 8.55 points per core lost. And since we only lost 128 CUDA cores, I multiplied 8.55 by 128 to get 1,095 points lost, approximately. Then I subtracted 1095 from 11,612 and I got 10,517 points, which is probably the best estimate I can give you guys for the performance of the 1050 in 3D Mark Fire Strike. Now in terms of the looks of this card, it's probably going to look like the GTX 1060 since it's a lower end card and Nvidia is trying to separate the higher end and lower end cards, especially by the looks. Now in terms of the price, I think it's going to be 199 because every GPU has increased $50 from the previous model. Like the 1060 is 249 while the 960 was 199 MSRP at launch. And the GTX 970 was $329 at launch, while the GTX 1070 is $379 and so on. So I assumed it's going to be the same for the GTX 1050. So I added $50 to the MSRP of the GTX 950, which is $149, and I got $199 USD. In terms of price to performance, the GTX 1050 is king. As you guys can see in this graph, the GTX 1050 is pretty obviously better in terms of price to performance. 
the gap is the largest. The 1060 and 1070 have essentially the same exact price to performance, since the lines are basically parallel. And as you guys can probably notice, the GTX 1080 is horrible in terms of price to performance. So the GTX 1050, similarly to the GTX 950, has the best price to performance. In terms of the specifics, the GTX 1050 gets 53 points per dollar, the GTX 1060 gets 47 points per dollar, the GTX 1070 gets 43 points per dollar, and the GTX 1080 gets a miserable 33 points per dollar. As you can see, the GTX 1060 and 1070 are very close, and the 1050 does pull a pretty big lead, and the GTX 1050 gives you almost double the points for the same dollar. To conclude, I put all the information in one little chart which you guys can look at right now. Now I think the GTX 1050 is going to be a great card that will compete very well with the RX 480, 4GB model of course. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you leave a comment down below telling me this. And that's all for today. So if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later.